At this hour, our coast is still getting hit with strong wind gusts. The unusual conditions having a big impact on communities as far north as Oceanside and as far south as Imperial Beach. My co-anchor Wale Aliu is at Mission Beach with a look at the current conditions there. Wale. Current conditions, well, Campbell, the wind is really picking up as you can tell by the branches from this palm tree branch here. Uh, wind is definitely picking up here in Belmont Park in Mission Beach. We have been talking to folks all afternoon and evening who were not expecting these types of winds. It has been several years actually since the last time we had a coastal wind advisory and at this hour we are still feeling that impact here is what it looked like earlier around the beach the gusts rocking trees from side to side and that's how it was able to hold a branch there and the waves crashing on the beach a high surf advisory is also in effect through tomorrow now the the weather also causing issues at our airports. Dozens of flights were delayed today. Our weather along with a winter storm across parts of the U.S. causing issues in the skies. Now it is not just here along the coast where people are dealing with strong gusts. The high winds also brought down many trees all around the county. ABC 10 News reporter Austin Gravish is live in Spring Valley with the close call for one woman, Austin. While well, the resident of this home woke up to a terrifying sound in the middle of the night, she came outside and saw this big palm tree had fallen down, crushing her furniture. And you can see just what a mess this is. I mean, look at these fronds. I can't even break this off. She is now waiting for a tree company to come and clean up the mess. And Josephine Jandiger says the sound of that falling tree was so loud, she had to get out of bed. And she's not the only resident. In fact, the city tells us that so far today, its crews have cleaned up more than 50 downed trees. These trees were on roadways and sidewalks, and there are likely many more that have fallen in private yards that we are not aware of. Thankfully, a city spokesperson says there haven't been any reports of injuries today. And this is important because you may recall just a few weeks ago, a falling tree actually had hit a woman in Balboa Park. Now, as for Josephine Jandiger, she says her insurance will pay for the removal of this tree in her backyard where we are right now. Take a listen to what she remembers from this morning. I had no idea what it was. Um, and I, when I went, out, went outside, I saw the tree laying down. So I I got worried that there was some potential damage to my house, but luckily um, there's no damage that I can see at least. Now with more rain in the forecast, the city of San Diego is handing out free sandbags to residents at various rec centers. The city says though you will need to buy your own sand and they're telling people not to take it from the beach. Reporting live in Spring Valley, Austin Gravish, ABC 10 News. Austin, thank you. We also caught up with some people who were walking around Mission Beach earlier today. They told us today's strong winds did not remind them of the usual sunny San Diego weather. It's freezing. I actually just moved here from the Midwest, so I did not expect this weather at all. I thought it would be sunny and feel great every day, and I feel like I'm back, back in Missouri with this weather. <laughs> Yeah, well here at the coast, it's all about the wind. But if you head up to the mountain, snow is on the ground and more is on the way. Let's get out to ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill, who is live in Julian. Ryan, I see you bundled up. How is it looking right now? Well, if you can't tell by how red my nose is, this Florida boy is cold. We've been seeing intermittent snow showers and some fairly strong winds here. And as the sun has set here in Julian, there's not too many people out as they're probably trying to brace for this next round of storms where we're expecting more snow to fall, maybe have some uh, some winds throughout the night. Uh, but we have seen some Caltrans cars and trucks come through to clear some of the streets. We've seen families who've been driving up to enjoy the snow for the day as they want to take advantage of everything that San Diego County has to offer the surf where you're at Wale and also the snow where we are at here in Julian and some locals are saying that this kind of feels like a normal winter, but those strong winds or something else last night. We're going to hear from somebody who's lived in Julian for the last five years about what those winds were like last night coming up in our seven o'clock newscast reporting live here in Julian Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News. Looking forward to that. Thank you, Ryan.